Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Today I'm gonna be teaching you how to create this cut crease. And this is a how to do your eyeshadow detailed video. So first we're gonna be going in with this shade called Mocha. And I'm gonna be applying this all over my lid. Please be careful not to go above the crease because it's gonna mess up the whole look. To apply this shade, I'm using the E17 brush by Morphe. And guys, I'm really sorry if you can hear some birds chirping in the background. They are right outside my window. I don't know why. I feel like they want to film the tutorial for me. Anyways, next I'm going in with the shade Creamsicle. And I'm using the JH35 brush by Morphe and Jaclyn Hill. And I'm going to be blending this shade on my crease. And as my brush runs out of product... When I'm applying it on my crease, I'm going to go upwards so that it starts to look smoky and brighter as you guys can see right here. I'm using small circular motions as I'm blending and I'm also doing a windshield motions, which is just side to side. And now I'm going in with the shade Pukey and I'm using the brush M506 also by Morphe. And I'm only blending this shade onto my crease. I'm not going above the yellow or below it's okay if the shade mocha kind of disappeared because we're going to be fixing that but for now don't touch it until we're done blending this shade okay now after we're done blending pukey i'm going back in with the shade mocha and we're going to pat this down the same way that we did in the beginning just on our lid and try not to go above the shade pukey also friends, give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already, if you're enjoying this video. And also don't forget to click the subscribe button. And now I'm going to be going in with my primer. This is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I believe it retails at $23 and right now shipping is free. They also didn't even charge taxes, so that's a plus. Take advantage of it, you guys, and purchase one. I just got mine and I love it. It's really good. Now I'm going in with the shade Beam. This is one of my favorite whites to use on my cut creases. And I'm going in with the brush Sephora 15. I'm not sure if it has a specific name, but that's what it says here. And I'm just going to be patting this down all over that area where I applied my primer. Don't be afraid to put extra product on there. The brighter, the better, the more dramatic, the more it stands out. So it's good. Okay, now here's a trick. Pay attention to this. This is like doing a 3D picture. Like it's like when you see a regular picture and the 3D just looks so much better. That's what you're doing with this makeup look. I'm applying the shade Creamsicle on that outer area of the primer. And then on top of that, I'm placing the shade Pukey very lightly over it, but still leaving a little bit of the shade Creamsicle sticking out so that it's noticeable. And then lastly, I'm going in with the shade Mocha again. And I'm patting it down right behind those colors. And this just gives it like that extra pop. And it looks so good and so nicely blended. So yeah guys, that's one of the tricks that I learned from a YouTuber named Ann Nook. Once we've blended this out, I'm going to be going in with my concealer. This is from Believe Beauty. And it's very affordable, you guys. It's $4 only. And I'm using a random flat brush just to sharpen that outer area of my eyeshadow. I love my eyeshadow looks to look this sharp. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like it looks, it stands out a lot more and it just, it looks nice. Next, I'm going to be going back in with the shade Beam. And this time I'm using the M213 brush by Morphe. It's a tiny flat brush, so it's perfect to get into those smaller areas. And I'm also going to be applying the shade on the inner corner of my eye. Make sure you go back in with the fluffy brush to blend out the top area with no makeup on it. Just so that it blends together and it doesn't look like it's just pasted on there. But yeah. So we apply this on that inner corner and make sure it's as bright as the other side so that they look like they're the same. <laughs> and lastly, I'm applying some of my lip gloss. This is from my brand. If you guys are interested in purchasing some gloss, this is very good. It's non-sticky and it smells really nice. My website is down below, so if you're interested, please go take a look at it because this pandemic is really messing up my business. And yeah, guys, that is all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to click the like button to subscribe and also leave a comment down below that says banana to let me know that you finished watching this video. And yeah, thank you and I'll see you guys for my next video.